What's up everybody? Thanks for watching today. And today's topic is going to be ba -da -ba -ba -ba. everything is great until it isn't. What do I mean by that? Um, I'm going to start off talking directly about Suboxone because I'm sure a lot of my videos on my channel makes it look like I hate Suboxone. And that is not the truth. Um, especially when I first started this channel, what, like four months ago or something, a lot of my videos were kind of, seemed like they might have been like, you know, geared towards hating Suboxone. And really that's a place that I had to go for me to get, you know, to get that burning desire. I, I've had that burning desire to quit taking Suboxone for so long that it finally just came to a place where I had to get pissed off at the situation and make up all these reasons um, and specifically list every little tiny thing um, that was affecting me negatively. You'll see, I, if you go back, you'll see I did a video that said, uh, the, the title was 50 cons, I believe, of using Suboxone. The 50 cons of using Suboxone or something like that. You'll see if you guys go back to my first videos. And I literally came up with 50 different ways and side effects that Suboxone was impacting me in a negative way. And that's, that's just an example of the motivation that I had to come to, um, had to come up with, you know, to actually get some traction with getting off of Suboxone. And with the title of the video, everything is great until it isn't, that goes with anything in life, you know, thinking back on my painkiller addiction, that was great for the first little while, I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, I remember taking one 10 milligram um, painkiller every Friday, that was like my treat, cool, you know, my treat for work, you did a good job this week, you know, you deserve this this treat and <laughs> that's kind of how I was looking at it and so it was like my reward for my week's worth and that that went on for actually quite some time I'm pretty lucky that didn't escalate right away and then before you know it it's oh now it's Monday and Friday okay maybe a few months later Monday Wednesday and Friday and I specifically remember when that happened when it got up to three days a week I was, my, my warning lights on my dashboard were starting to blink. Bing, 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 low tire, check engine light started flashing up on my, on my dashboard, <laughs> talking about it in my head. And I, I had no idea how serious addiction could get. I had no freaking clue. I was just, you know, a younger guy, <laughs> just having a good time. <clears throat> and before you know it, you know, here you are, what, 10, 15 years later, and you're still trying to finish things up. Like, you know, you had to learn all this shit and go through, we all have to go through our own journey. And, you know, I could say that about painkillers. I could say that about Suboxone. It was awesome when I first got on it. Hey, this is, this is a great tool that I could use to get off painkillers. And it was, it was an amazing tool to transfer over to. Um, only you guys will know and it's going to be different for everybody. Some people that might look like taking Suboxone for a week, it might be 10 years, but only you guys will know when that time is right for you. Um, and you have to listen to that. You know, I remember um, probably a good year and a half ago, I was thinking to myself every day how much I didn't want to take Suboxone. I was, every day I'd wake up like, gosh, dang it, I don't want to take this, but... I felt like I had to, you know, and so I did. And I remember one day thinking, you know what? I have to conquer this before I die. That was, that was, I think I even said it out loud. I was like, I have to figure this out. This is driving me absolutely nuts. I want to quit this so bad, but I can't for some reason. And, and just trying to figure things out, it was very frustrating. So um, in leading up before that, um, the place that I now moved to out of my home state, I, I was struggling with addiction for a long time and I couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out, you know, and something about this place really felt amazing to me whenever I would visit. And, 
and it literally took me so long to listen to that voice. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you guys are struggling with anything in life, whether it's a toxic relationship, a toxic friendship, drug addiction, um, the desire to start your own business and leave your comfortable job. That was one, a huge one for me. It took me about five years of wanting to do that and leave my normal day job, my safe, secure day job, because I was so afraid of failure. And I, I definitely feel like as you're stuck in addiction, it makes it so much harder for you to trust your inner guide. And because you're constantly doubting yourself, you know, really, because you know, deep down you want to quit, whatever it is you're addicted to, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, whatever it is, you know, deep down you want to quit, but, and you keep telling yourself you're going to quit, but you never do. So it creates a distrust within your body. So deep down, you really don't trust yourself. You don't love yourself. It creates all kinds of havoc in your system, you know, so um, I had tons of toxic relationships and I definitely take blame in, in those as well, you know, I, I'm not saying that the women I was choosing were um, the best of ideas for me, but I was going through turmoil constantly on myself. My, my own life was going through turmoil and crazy, you know? So that's what I was attracting. And I see that now looking back. And I just remember so many days, you know, we all have bad days and crap and, and get discouraged sometimes, whatever. But if there's something in you when you're hanging out with a certain person that says, why do I keep hanging out with them? or this person's constantly causing me drama, or I'm constantly having to bail this person out of their drama situation. Um, what else? I mean, it could be tons of different things. It could be you're, you're so sick of the drug addiction or, or chemical addiction, or it could be porn. I mean, it could be TV, it could be Netflix, it could be YouTube. If you, if you know in your heart and it's constantly popping up that you know you need to make a change and you don't do that, that's gonna create major, major problems in your body. You're gonna be getting inflammation of all sorts. You know, you're gonna be sleeping crappy. Um, chances are your diet probably sucks. That's another huge thing that needs to be figured out, guys. Um, there's just so much to this whole, this whole thing and I'm sorry that I'm being so vague, but I'm just trying to kind of get you guys just to, to know like just in general random crap and I know a lot of my videos are just ranty but I feel like if you can relate to this somehow tie your own story into it somehow you know it, it's one thing to have a bad day and be like oh shit I want to move or I, I want to start taking this or stop doing that you know that's one thing but if it's something that every time you question, why am I doing this? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this day after day after day. That is something you need to, you need to go after that and you need to fix that or you need to move or you need to quit your job or you need to stop, find a way to stop taking whatever substance it is because over long term, you're really stressing yourself out and making life so much harder than it needs to be. I'm living proof of that and I, I'm preaching this to you guys because it's happened to me for so long, you know. Um, I was thinking the other day how long I've really been on Suboxone. I, th I thought it was just, it, I, I mean, just thinking quickly on it, I would always think that it was like, oh, it's just been a year or two. But thinking back on it, it's literally been like four or five years. That's freaking crazy. I can't believe how fast time has gone. So from the beginning of my addiction, that started when I was 21. I'm not saying I've been addicted the entire time, but probably a majority of that time, you know? Um, so Suboxone, uh, like I said, it, it seems like I might have hated it to you guys, but I, I just wanted to go over that and let you guys know that I think it is an awesome medication for getting people a solid foundation and getting off of opiates. Um, so, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to clarify that. Um, if you guys can relate to this somehow, maybe post something that you've been struggling with 
Um, maybe you are ready for a, a job change. Um, you know, if you keep stuffing these things down and you don't address these warning lights that are popping up every day, you think you want to change this, you want to move away from drama people, you want to cut off certain friendships, um, even if it's just for a while until you f get things figured out, that's okay, you know. Um, it, but if you're constantly having that internal signal telling you you need to do something, then you need to figure that out because... Um, for me, just stuffing that down only kept my addiction going longer and longer and longer. It really wasn't until I started listening to that and making adjustments and removing people from my life and getting rid of people's phone numbers, getting rid of social media. I haven't had social media for a year. None of it, you know. Um, I just made, took this really serious and finally that's when I was able to start making progress. So if you guys just keep repeating the cycle and you're just not able to get any traction, um, then I highly suggest taking a look at just your big picture. You know, think of it as life management. Nobody else is going to manage your life for you. Or nobody else is going to get you out of any storm that you're caught up in. It's your duty, guys. And life goes by so freaking fast. Think, of, think about your age right now, however old you are. I'm 37 and it seems like life has gone by so damn fast. And they say as you get older, life just keeps feeling like it goes by faster and faster. And I believe that, you know, at this age. So um, I feel like if you guys have the desire to quit hanging out with certain people, quit taking any kind of drug, then you really need to dive deep into that and start making changes. Because if not, before you know it, there goes two years, there goes five years, ten years, fifteen down, years down the road. You're going to be so depressed and tired, you know, twenty years down the road, you're just going to say, fuck it, I'm just going to keep doing this. I guess I'll just settle, you know, and you're, you're not going to have the willpower, more than likely. Um, or it's going to take a lot more willpower if you're twenty years into something that you wanted to quit your job. Um, just listen to your heart, guys. Um, it won't guide you the wrong way. Take some risks, man. It's 2019. If you guys have been playing things safe, try something different, man. Don't be afraid to try out a new life. You know, if you need to move to a different state for a while, I've told you guys before that this has been the, one of the coolest experiences that I've ever gone through. You know, so make some changes, guys, because if you don't change, if nothing changes, nothing will change. You know, you, you guys have to start the process trimming the fat from your life, getting rid of all the crazy stuff you've got going on, whatever brings you drama, it's got to go. My life is a drama-free zone, and anybody that brings me drama, go and get ghosted, son. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.